Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to my sloppy uh, studio space, which isn't a studio, it's a storage area, so I need to uh, be considerate and tidy up today so it can be used as a storage space as well. But, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls. What centers me? Am I more centered now? I don't like being off center. I, I think that's probably closer. It is 6.56 a.m. It's Tuesday. It's the 11th of April. I've been up since 5 o'clock in the morning, and it's it feels like I just woke up. I mean, not just because Fibro makes it. I like. I always feel like I just woke up, but it's been almost two hours, and I've, I've been trying to wake up so I could get started, and it's been really hard. I don't know where the time has gone. I don't know where my brain is. And, and, and I might, oh, I hate being off center and I can't tell. So I just go off to the sides, but am I going off evenly? Oh, maybe I'm centered. I don't know. Anyway, though, good morning, everybody. Um, stop doing that bad habit. Oh, I can't believe I'm still doing that. I picked that up as a habit. Oh, so irritating. You don't say, um, or, uh, you just pause and wait and uh, I hate the way that I picked that up as a habit my sincere apologies not good Ugh. other than that though life has been just life uh, not a whole lot has been going on and happening in fact I've, I've done a lot of walking and that's good and which is except for yesterday i didn't walk yesterday it was mostly raining and for whatever reason i just couldn't get things moving so that i could go moving so i need to go walking today after i do a bunch of videos here because i i need to walk my legs don't feel good unless i i move them my body doesn't feel good unless i'm moving of course because of my back injuries i mean i can stand in place for about 15 minutes before i have to sit down because my back injuries, it hurts too much. I can walk for two, three hours, fine. But then at that time, I've got to be able to sit down because my back injuries, I, I can't walk anymore. So I walk for as long as I can. And then when I'm done, it's like, I've got to sit down. My back is destroyed. Now I can sit for about five or six hours before I've got to stand up because pain back injuries and yay so at least I can shift and change my positions it was locked in place I hate the way Windows does this there's something going on with Windows and I'm probably gonna have to reinstall again I hate Windows and the way everything fights and struggles uh, irritating Microsoft for the win but then, you know, I could do that or I could uh, just say, hey, I'll get a Mac and then spend five times as much money for something that performs, well, maybe comparably. You know, I like to spend money on things that work. I don't spend money on brand name stuff. So if I can get something that works and it's not, you know, foolishly five times as expensive, then I'm going to buy that. So yeah and hey if you want to get the mac experience uh get linux you know linux is based off unix mac is based off unix so if you get a lot and get yourself linux which is free you've effectively got mac stuff sure they make it look and act like windows but it's not windows that's just the way they've made it look they can make it look like anything they want life <laughs> I am tired. I am very tired. It's been two hours. I'm my brain is not functioning today, and it's late. It's seven o'clock. I gotta hopefully get this done. I'm not green screening today, so it's not gonna take four hours for my morning vlog to render, which it didn't take four hours yesterday. But it took about forty-five minutes to an hour for uh, just my twenty-minute video to render. That's another thing that's irritating. Before I reinstalled and got Windows 10, and I used Windows 7 my machine rendered videos fast a minute of video took a minute of real time so it took like 10 to 20 minutes to render a video that was fast because now it doesn't render anywhere near that fast so yay 
And the only thing that's changed is I went from Windows 7 to Windows 10. At least it wasn't Windows 8. You know, you don't even want to mention Windows 8 in official uh, correspondence with Microsoft or you'll lose your license for Windows 10. Not really, but that's the way it seems. They, they, that's why they skipped Windows 9, you know, to get away from the uh, association with 8. <laughs> Ugh. 7 was about the best they'd ever done for Windows. I loved Windows 7. I wish they could have uh, worked on that one instead of throwing the code base out and starting over with, it, with uh, something based on 8. But life is life. Life is life. And hey, how about the new X-Bone, the Scorpio? Is that going to uh, save them, or is it going to be nothing? I have no idea. I just thought I'd mention that. But I, I really don't have a whole lot that's, that's happened in my life between yesterday and today. And I am very sorry about that. Some days, I can just come out here and I yammer about nothing, and then it's 20 minutes have gone by, and I feel like I've just started. Other days like today there's been lots of stuff happening but I don't know what to, what to say about it or how to say it and so I've got nothing to really talk about hmm other than that though I mean there's little squeak right back over there and then there is um... oh come on out little one where are you <gasps> it's a hamster I have to show you Bad Ears McGee because my hamsters, well, they don't care about whether or not they're on camera. They just want to uh, live and s sleep in this case. He was sleeping on his side, curled into a ball, and I picked him up and now he's just going, <laughs> hey, hey, can I go back to sleep, please, please, with his crinkly little bad ears. Okay, little guy. I'm sorry. One thing that I did do was, uh, wanted to talk about was, uh, somebody had said in a comment, like, you know, how can you say these, these funny things? Mmm, excuse me, it's that lemonade. It's, ah, uh, I'm not even centered in my chair right. Oh, <laughs> it's a wonderful day. Um, uh, a lot of what happens, like, on is I've just burnt out a lot of my internal sensors that stops me from saying the things that we don't normally say. When you almost die, and if you ever have a near-death experience, you will experience this, and it's a really weird feeling, but when you have a situation where you should have died, but either sheer luck or the work of people kept you alive, and so you're alive when, by rights, you should be gone. I've had a couple of those where I should be dead. When I was in my, the peak of my alcoholism, when I uh, asked my parents to take me to rehab, I blew a .55 forward on the breathalyzer that day. And I still remember that day. And at a point two, you are very drunk. At point three, most people are unconscious. At point four, most people are dead. At point five, you're not supposed to be alive. And I was walking around and I remember that day and I shouldn't be alive. My liver was in bad shape. My kidneys were in bad shape. I had more ammonia in my system than you're supposed to have and live. I should have died from my alcoholism and I'm still here. On another time, when I was going on to methadone, I took 12 milligrams over a two-day period. That almost killed me. They had to take my body into the hospital and give me Narcan. They told my wife, who had to scream at me to keep breathing until the hospital, you know, the 911 got here. She was told that if it had been even five minutes more before they had found me, that would, it wouldn't matter. Narcan wouldn't have saved me. I should be dead from that as well. It is a weird, weird feeling to know that you should be dead and still be here. 
it takes at least a good week to get over that weird feeling because everything is different. It changes everything inside your head. When you should be dead, but you're not. The whole world changes. Your outlook on the world changes. My internal sensors have been burnt out because of that. Because I learn from these things that, and many people do, that life is too short, too precious, too brutal, too savage to not say the things you want to say. Because if you don't say them, they'll never be said. If you don't go out and do the things you want to do, they'll never get done. There are things that you want to say to people, but you feel, oh, I shouldn't. You realize you should, because at any moment, they can be gone. At any moment, you can be gone. At any moment, it can all be over. Life is too short and too painful and too brutal to not say what is in your heart, to not do the things that you have to do. Now, obviously, that doesn't mean things like, well, you know, I haven't killed enough people, and then go out with a knife and start murdering. Most normal people try to fit in with society. And so, even when you burnt out a lot of your sensors, you're not outside of society. You are marveling at how you fit in and how the whole world interacts and how it's amazing and beautiful and it can go away so easily. So yeah, a lot of the reasons I say and do the things that I say and do is because life is too short, too painful to not tell people when they're being wonderful, to tell people when they're beautiful to tell people that they're awesome, to help others, to... Ugh, I'm tearing up. My apologies. Life is just too short to not say and do the things that matter and count. So thumbs up on that. And <laughs> I've actually got to get some tears out of my eyes here. Ugh, my apologies. I don't normally... Uh, tear myself up like that. Normally it's external things, not internal things. Ugh. Oh, my back and my chair. My spine is such a mess. When I'm sitting straight and I look down to see where my chair is, it's like off at an angle like this while I'm sitting straight forward and it's like, oh, that ain't right. So I just try to line things up and then I'll go like, you know, I think I'm sitting up straight, but that ain't right. Um, my bloody spine. I mean, the, the back injuries I've had, at least 10 horrific injuries. And high up as well. I mean, I've got numb spots and all that right right up in, in here in my upper back. That's damage in your spine that's like dangerously close to the top of your neck. Where your uh, spine connects to your brain. Yeah, that's not good. So, there's damage all along my spine. So it's just, it's difficult to sit, stand, lie down, walk. It's difficult to be vertebrate, really. But we're at 13 minutes and change, and instead of just rambling wildly like I've been doing, what I'm going to do is, I had previously, before starting the, the webcam, opened up the uh, comments page on the community tab for my creator studio. Ooh, it's just, if you have a channel, you've got a creator studio nothing special <laughs> take a look on your uh, your youtube stuff if you have a channel you got that but it just lists all comments in chronological order from the most recent down 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 to about a year back and then you, i don't know where the comments go after that and into the comment graveyard i guess but i've got those open because i'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for leaving me comments thank you so very much and now i'm at 14 minutes so i gotta i gotta kind of hurry but Oh yes, Begar Johnson. I'm I can't remember your last name. You had asked for a, a shout out, and I I can't find your name to write it down to get your name proper. And I'm very very sorry. I feel bad about that one because you sent me postcards and I've talked to you in comments and 
I can't get your name right. I feel bad. I'm very sorry, but thank you very much. And then as well, there's the FKDH over the home team. Another shout out. Thank you very much. And then Jordan Bracken. Thank you very, very much. And Nathan Carroll. Thank you. And uh, and some Vriku. Thank you very, very much. Now, if I mispronounce your name, and I certainly will. I mean, I mis would mispronounce my own name. But if I mispronounce yours, no disrespect intended. I'm just terrible with names. I'm a standard American, and we're terrible. So, I mean, we're not terrible. We're terrible with, with things like names. And then Justina Aquavita Metz, thank you so very, very much. Silent Ball, thank you. Question Randolph, huh, thank you very, very much. Breaker Games, thank you. And then oh, <laughs> Stand Up Kerp, thank you very much. And then there is Ryan. Or wait, where was I? Where, oh my gosh, where was I? That was 10. Yeah, that'd be 11. Ryan, I hope so. See, this is why I say range of 20 to 25 because I got lost. I have no idea where I was counting. I mean, was that five? And then did I do six? So we'll, we'll do it this way. Qua Swar, thank you very much. And the Horror Files, thank you. And then there is Secretly 365 and House of Onyx, pretty cool. And then uh, LP Pigman 9999. <laughs> thumbs up. Thank you very much. I like your guys' usernames. And then Mikamot5. Thumbs up. And then uh, Austin McClone. Thank you so much. And Claire Wong. Thank you so very, very much. I know I'm saying roughly the same thing all the time, but still, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. Gerard Jacobson. Thank you. And uh, The Seeker, 1811.94, thumbs up. Thank you very, very much. And then there is Matt, let's see, yeah, Matt Ben, thank you. And Wet Noodle, <laughs> thank you very, very much. Uh, Troy McDivitt, thank you for the comments. And A10 Troll, thumbs up. And then there is uh, Definitely Not Dexter, <laughs> thank you. And then, um, whoa. Stevie G three 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 six 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 nine nine nine. Thank you, and Lucinda Pierce. Thank you very very much. Uh, ooh, boo boo do. No, it's B U U B U U U D O U D O U. I can't pronounce that one. I'm very sorry. And then uh, there is Juicebox Heroes. Thank you very very much. And then Dreamcast Kid twenty eight. Thank you also very, very much for the for the comments. It is greatly appreciated. You get me out of my head and into the world, and that's awesome. Oh, man, I'm almost at 18 minutes. Where did, now the time is gone. Before, it was just crawling, and now it's rushing. So I'm going to quickly say, Boom dia, dia deed, dia guit, guten tag, buenos dias, buna dimanata, ohio, la brit, la bas ritas, camusta, buongiorno. Terra Homacost, Yoregelt, Bariluz, Nihau, Kalimera, Bonjour, Matenva, Boreda, Bokertoff, Mesa O'Haley, Jean Dobre, or less formally, Chest, Labdien, Dobre Utro, Boreda, Dobre Rano, Priviet, Merhaba, Go Morgan, God Morgan, and of course go forth and have the crack. Thanks again to Yoshi Egg 118 And of course, somebody said another good thing to say would say would be to say, Gracias para tu atención. Thank you very, very much. Let's see. Wow, 1844. So, if you could uh, click the uh, show more underneath the video, and it'll show you all sorts of links. You could check those out. You don't have to. One of them is uh, like my GoFundMe. It's a continued thing now. It's a if you can help uh, a struggling vet continue to survive. I'm on disability, and I'm not making. I make about a enough off my channel to buy a, a one video game a month. Any help is appreciated. Not required. Do not even think you have to. In fact, don't even visit if you don't feel like it. Also, if you could toss me a like, that would be awesome. Greatly appreciated. I do appreciate all positive validation for my existence. And if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome. Uh, but only if you're down with it. Pity subscriptions not needed and not wanted. They don't help me. They don't help you. They don't help anybody. But if you are down with it, glad to have you. Hope to keep you forever and ever and ever. Mm-hmm. Wrapped in plastic, down in the basement, with all the others in the dark. Mm-hmm. 
So thumbs up. I got 10 seconds left before it's 20 minutes. So you have a great day. I will see you on the flip side. Time is fleeting. So you take care and I'll see you on the flip side.